Good morning. First one in this week then, a black. I should know what this black is called, but I don't. Audi A5 here for three days, a two-stage minor paint correction detail. Second car in, a Mizano Red Audi A4 Avant. Both vehicles will receive the full safe wash and decontamination. They'll come inside to be clay barred, they'll be blown dry, and they will go up on the ramp ready for some polishing. The A5 is say, a two-stage minor correction to lift surface defects, light scratches, and buff trails, which there are lots of. You will see this later on. And the A4 will be a single-stage enhancement with localized corrections where required. Both vehicles will leave wearing the best possible exterior protection and will receive interior work as necessary. Onwards outside for the wash and time to get cold. decontamination, removing all the surface contaminants, be it rotar, iron filings, or any, anything else that's stuck and bonded to the surface, which needs to come off before. How do we get some brightness on here? We can't, we're in the wrong mode. Never mind. So now those that are followers to the channel, you've just seen the blow, in, the blow dry stage. This is a very important uh, process to eliminate all the trapped water from the windows around, the light clusters, the aerial the channel, the groove that sits across the sunroof is just contained to water. So before we go on to the polishing stage and especially the coating stage, the ceramic paint protection, this all needs to be removed um, from the vehicle. That's now been done. The regular visitors to the channel will know that now the next thing to do is to dry the discs off. You can see the oxidation setting in already. These wet discs haven't been wet from the wash. Um, well, only now get crustier, uh, drier and thicker. So the brakes will end up sticking. And of course, the first time the vehicle is on the brakes, yes, the rust will be lifted, but at the same time, all that dust, all that rust will fluff off. Fluff, yeah, okay. Uh, and stick to the wheel, all the surrounding areas of the car. So the vehicle goes outside. We do a couple of lengths on the, in the car park, on the brakes, just to dry the discs off. Before it comes in, on the ramp, up in the air, and we'll have a look at the paint condition. Brake discs dry, free of oxidation. No more sticky brakes on collection day. This vehicle is new to my customer. However, in a previous life, it's had quite a hard session. I won't go into much now. I will give you five areas before going on to the bulk of the correction. Number one. 
hideous buffer trails surrounding a deep scratch in the center of the bonnet. This is pretty much the case over the entire car. So either someone's prepped it for sale and mopped and aggressively pushed the polish over it. Two, more buffer trails. I don't know why I'm bothering counting. I literally just take it down the side. Buffer trails over the side of the door, overlapping. Choo, 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 choo. Another deep straps on the top of the wing. Finger swipes on the tailgate. So the vertical stretch is going up and down. Finger swipes where the car's been dirty and someone's reached around and closed the boot lid with the paint, resulting in thousands of scratches. As I say, always interior handle and registration plate if needs be. Interior handle, registration plate, closed. No contact on the paint. Uh, pretty bad marks in the rear corner. Surrounded by more buffer trails. That must be number five by now. So the whole car very much suffering from incorrect polishing techniques and swirls from bad contact and deep abrasions. So a cutting stage to lift the surface damage followed by a refining stage. This is a minor paint correction, so we're not chasing perfection. However, in the direct sunlight, the car afterwards will be pure. It will be black, there'll be no movement, there'll be no holograms, there'll be no buffer trails, no unsightly defects, all the swirls removed. It just might be, they'll be rounded off. Deep scratches in the odd occasion. It's a daily use car, it lives outside. It didn't want to be perfect, so the minor correction is a great choice. and the after condition after the cutting stage, the first stage which you can see the finish is better than the scratch part but is still very hazy and a long way to go. So for demonstration purposes only, I'm going to do the refining set from the filler cap forward to give you a better idea on how things will look. Give you an idea now this hopefully is how the rest of the vehicle will come out so you can see a much more metallic sharper finish there are scratches remaining this could very much be a major correction however time scales and the budget requirements the customers requirements the priorities localized corrections are being made to the worst areas but this is quite under this is under the intense light so these marks sort of outside in the normal daylight sunlight you would do well really to see them but so the buffer trail here the wavy holograms the lines overlapped onto the wing before 
You can compromise the edges by doing this if you're not masking off or removing the edge prior to polishing. So you saw me lift the door, that removes the door edge out of the equation. So going forward, any other 50-50s you will see will be purely after the cutting stage, which will be hazy still. So this is a refined finish, this is a before finished, and what you're about to see will be cut finished, but not refined finished. I'm sure that makes sense. different offside corner of the A5. The door, front door, the only door, looks glossy. In the light it looks well. What we have are the LEDs pointing against the wall and the pillar which in turn flood the light down the side of the panel. This now looks reflective, it now looks glossy and shiny. But don't be fooled. I'm not I don't want to start any, it's just a point to say that lots of companies are see, still use this method to showcase their final after photos. So they'll take the car, they'll pump light off the wall, they'll bounce light um, and in turn it makes the car look really, really rich, really reflective and glossy. However, if we take the light and look into the door properly, and I'll take you with me here, you will see that in fact it's just riddled with defects and swirls and abrasions. If you're looking to have a car detailed and you're sort of inquiring in various companies just be mindful of sort of the images they use it's very media heavy it's very image heavy and you can easily disguise I guess a decent result so if you see people bouncing the light off the wall what you want is this basically you want direct light with focus would be helpful what you want is this, is direct light down the side of the vehicle, over the hood or the boot lid or whatever, just to show the true finish so we can see the difference. I felt like I rambled on somewhat, but I think you get the idea. Happy polishing. Just quickly then, if you are a detailer or someone polishing your own car and your boot lid is sprung loaded, similar to the A5, whereby as soon as you open it, the whole thing flies up. But you want to polish this edge, the very bottom inch here, similar to the sides as well. But you want to clear the edges so it's safe to polish that edge without scoring the bumper or the wing. Wrapped in a microfiber towel in the boot shut there is a one litre bottle of polish wrapped up in a microfiber to protect the console. Uh, and then of course it's just weighted. So I've got two tubs of, I don't know what, I2 triclean, just a bit of weight, which is protected with a microfiber towel just to counterbalance the spring action. So that allows the boot lid to remain at this position so you can safely come to the edge without risk of I mean that on the body work let's just close it too you're never going to polish that where it is so you've got to raise it four or five inches to give you that edge to safely cut you're welcome
finished. Finally, a uh, big transformation that. One that took a lot more work than expected, to be honest. It is quarter past eight, Wednesday night, end of day three. I'll give you a quick run over the car now, but I'll be back in the morning to film the proper after footage. And then it starts again on a Mizano Red Audi A4 Avant. customer. So Thursday morning I've got Mazzano Red A4 Avant outside waiting for similar treatments potentially but the A5 it was booked for the minor correction just round off the job quickly. A minor correction is the careful a minor correction is the two-stage polish so a cutting pass a refiner pass what you see is what you get. However, the severity of the defects on the A5, the combination of the defects and the hard paintwork, it wasn't really there. I put myself in the customer's shoes, so I'm spending a, a chunk of money on the car being polished and there was still room for improvement. So it was a case of extending the polishing sets, maybe upping the combination even more, or even introducing a third set to, to cut, polish, refine. Um, so the bonnet and the boot lid, you saw me attacking them with the rotary polisher on a wall pad. That was just to make the impact, make the difference. Whereas the two stage, which is included, it just, it was better, don't get me wrong, but still had a long way to go. Uh, over the Christmas period, I was sent a, a brief sort of Q&A from Stable Vehicle Contracts, their Instagram page here in front of me. I will put a link down to their Facebook or their website, their blog, on the description channel below. There's a few questions, so how did I get started, what's my favourite car to work on, any advice, any tips. Uh, it's quite a brief sort of q and I, I run through that on the Q&A, this is the picture they've used. Again, thank you Tim and the team at Stable Vehicle Contracts, links down below. I'm going to crack on now with the Audi A4, and I guess I will get the kettle on and make a start. So that brings the end of the week. It's been a busy one, and I must admit, I'm knackered. Long hours, long days, it's Saturday today. It is five o'clock. I should start by saying that I know in the last vlog, in number 13, 12.5, 13, that I said that the vlog and the camera will only come out now for the white details. So when I've got one car for five days, that's the ideal. That's when the camera will be picked up. However, obviously I've gone against that because the A5 was in for a minor paint correction, but I just could not document the transformation because it was such a big night and day before and after. The A4 event, this is the second vehicle in Mizano Red. It's a lovely color. It's been here before. Unfortunately, it has had a trip recently to the body shop. Um, so there's been a localized sort of very similar job spec, minor paint correction in terms of the polishing as the black A5. This one's had the engine bay bolt on. It's had a light interior top up. It's had the wheels coated and both vehicles leave with exterior protection upgrades, paint protection upgrades. No Q&A this week. I just, however, do want to thank Nick Bamford at Blitz Valentin. Nick, your website is down below in the comments. Bit of a shout out to you there. The reason being, Nick made contact in the week to alert me of the fact that there's a, a, um, a northeastern based Valentin detailing company using a lot of my information from my website on their own. When I say a lot, all my services were word perfect, so the minor correction, the paint enhancement, the two stage, everything is word perfect in there. Also the about page, which I've never seen before. My about page and my website, I'll just read the first paragraph. After catching the detailing bug years ago as a hobbyist, the drive, the feedback and attention motivated me, Jim White, to push things forward. Welcome to White Details. On said other company's website, on the about page, it says, after catching the detailing bug years ago as a hobbyist, the drive, feedback and attention motivated me, insert name here, 
do push things forward. Welcome to insert company name here. A bit cheeky. I tried to phone uh, said company in question. However, I couldn't get through for various reasons. But I sent them a message and they were willing to oblige and took all the information down. I've checked back and the website has nothing, but there we are. If in the future any of you see any of my images or videos or anything like that being used or text elsewhere, please do get in touch. Similar to Nick, I'll put a link in your, if you're a Valentin company, I'll put your details down below as a thank you. So there we are, I hope you've enjoyed. I will quickly run you around the A4. I know it's not been involved during the process part of the, of the video. However, it's rude not to show you the, the after footage. With that said, next week's work is a BMW 1M here for the white detail package. So I'm looking forward to getting started on that. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Find us on Instagram and Facebook. Instagram more so. There are more sort of daily updates and behind the scenes footage uh, on there. So white details on Instagram. Be sure to give the episode the YouTube a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And until then, ciao. I would just like to say a big thank you to Jim for doing an outstanding job on my Audi A5 Black Edition. I was amazed at the transformation when I picked my vehicle up. If anyone is considering making their car look new again, then get in contact with Jim. I cannot fault the quality of his work. It is exceptional, and you can tell that he is a perfectionist. My car was bought for a minor correction and protection, and there were some areas that needed more work that the minor wouldn't fix. Jim, being the perfectionist he is, wouldn't let the car out with any areas letting the car down. By today's standards, it's hard to find, as so many tradespeople just want to turn work over quickly and make as much money as possible, but then the quality suffers. This is not the case with white details. You also get daily videos sent to your phone with the progress of your car. It's a nice personal touch for the quality service you receive. I will certainly be recommending white details to all of my friends, and I will be coming back in the near future. Thanks again, Jim, for an exceptional job. Luke.